This is Joseph Trust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, what other ways can I smooth my model without using the smooth brush? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have the demo dog here loaded in. And before we get into alternate ways to smooth a model, I first want to talk about how ZBrush displays your model in the canvas. So by default, when you load a model into ZBrush, it's going to display your model with per-face normals. So what this means is that there is no smoothing groups being applied to your mesh inside of ZBrush. So if you have a model with low resolution topology, like the dog here, it's going to appear faceted. So even if you come through and smooth with the smooth brush, this model is still a low resolution model. And so since there is no smoothing groups being applied, it's going to always have this faceted look. So if you bring in a low resolution model, the first process to smooth it would be to apply some subdivisions. So I'm gonna navigate over to the tool palette over here, open up the geometry tab, and then click the divide button. And you'll see as I add more resolution to the mesh here, the dog is now getting smooth. So that is one thing just to take note of inside of ZBrush is that anything on the canvas that you see here and you can sculpt on is going to be displayed with per face normals. So now let's talk about alternate ways to smooth a model inside of ZBrush, not using the smooth brush. So I'm gonna select the clay buildup brush here and I'm gonna come through and I'm just going to generate some harsh areas on the dock here. So the question is asking about alternate methods. So let's say you wanna come in and smooth all these areas out, but you don't wanna go through and smooth them out individually using the smooth brush. So what other ways can you smooth your model inside of ZBrush? So if you navigate over to the tool palette and then open up the deformation panel here, you have a bunch of different sliders here that'll apply smoothing algorithms to your entire mesh. So up here at the top, we have a bunch of polishes. We have polish, we have polished by features, we have polished by groups, we have polished by crisp edges. Then we have a relax slider here. And then if we go down to the bottom here, we also have a smooth slider. So any of these sliders, the ones up top here, or the smooth slider, will apply smoothing algorithms to your mesh. Now all these sliders in the deformation palette here respect visibility and also masking. So if you have areas in your model you don't want to apply one of these global processes to, you can come through and hold control and mask that area out. And when you run any of these sliders over here, this area that is masked will be protected. So the polish slider up here is probably one of the most used ones to smooth out an entire mesh. So to use the slider, just click and drag, and you can drag this up to whatever level you feel comfortable with. And then when you release, it's going to come through and polish out the entire surface of your model here. Now, in addition to the default polish, you have an option for polish by features, which is going to look at the sculptural detail in your model and attempt to hold some of those harsh features. You have polish by groups that's going to look at the polygroups on your model and then polish around those. And you have polish crisp edges, which is going to look at the edge threshold on your mesh and try to hold different edges while smoothing everything else in between. Now the relax slider is going to look at the lowest subdivision on your model and it's going to apply a smooth and then go back up to the highest resolution. So this one's a little more intensive than some of the other options here. And this is mainly used for relaxing topology on a certain area so you can get more detail when sculpting. And then the smooth slider down here will do a global smooth just like the smooth brush. So you can come over here and drag that and that will perform a smooth across the entire surface. Now any of these sliders after you have clicked and dragged it once, you can repeat the process down here by simply clicking repeat to active. So that way you don't have to come over here and keep smoothing multiple times smooth once and then come down here and click repeat to active and it's going to keep applying that last deformation you applied to the model. Now in addition to just using the deformation options here to smooth the model, if we go back up to the geometry tab we have another area called clay polish and this will come through and apply a polish smooth to your mesh and hold some of the details and refine some edges. So if I run this on the model here it's going to come through and polish areas and also retain some of that sculptural detail. So this is another handy button here to come through and start smoothing out different areas on your model. Now, if you use this clay polish, after you run it, it's going to apply a mask to your mesh here. So you wanna make sure you clear your mask before running it again or applying any sculpting to your model. 
Now, if you want to put even a larger smooth on your mesh and you're not concerned about keeping the topology, you can also run ZRemesher. ZRemesher will go through and it will give you new topology for your entire model, and you can generate this at a lower resolution, which will give you a smooth version of your mesh. So if I run ZRemesher here on the dog, when this process is finished, you're going to see it's going to give me new topology. And now if I divide the model up, it's going to give me that kind of smooth result as well. So instead of using the smooth brush, you can use any of these sliders in the deformation panel, the polish, the relax, and the smooth. You could also use the clay polish option underneath the geometry tab, and even Z remesher to take your model and generate a smooth result. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.